Dear parents, now I'll explain you the steps to use the Campus Care app. When you go to the school app manual, please copy the below link and paste it on a Google Chrome. You will be able to see the whole manual which reflects in short the details about all the tabs present in the end tab. How to download the app? Go to Play Store, search for Campus Care app, then install the app. Go to Play Store, search for Campus Care app, then install the app. Go to Play Store, search Put URL as viscampuscare.in and click on Verify. As the message pops up, click on OK. Then put your user ID and password provided by school. Put URL as viscampuscare.in dot in and click on verify as the message pops up now we begin with the tabs which as a parent you can see on app when you log in first tab we move to procedure to pay the fees through school app now we go to the tab of fee summary when you click on the tab of fee summary, you will be able to see the fees which are due, how much is paid and what is remaining, that is the balance amount for all the installments. Now click on fee payment tab when you want to pay the amount. In this tab, you will see the next academic year the total amount which you want to pay. In the last column, you can edit the amount, but minimum amount paid should be 10,000 and you can proceed for payment. A message will pop up and click on OK. Please check your details thoroughly over here the name, address, mobile number email id mentioned over here and click on proceed to pay once you click on proceed to pay there are various options through which you can pay the amount debit card credit card net banking you can pay as per your wish now we move to the next tab where you will see the procedure to see the fee paid details. Now click on the fee paid details tab. Here click on the details you want to check. By clicking on the details you can see the amount which is paid. You can also generate the receipt of the paid amount through print tab. Now click on the Fee Paid Details tab. Here click on the details you want to check. By clicking on the details, you can see the amount which is paid. You can also generate the receipt of the paid amount through Print tab. Now let's move to the Transport tab. In transport tab, you can check the details regarding the bus, route, who is the driver and who is the helper. It also includes the stop name, stop number, pickup time, drop time. Now let's see how to apply for leave in the leave application tab. To put the leave in the leave application tab, you have to click on the tab. Once you click on the tab, you have to select the date 
from date and to date. You have to mention the reason for taking the leave and click on the submit button. And the message will be approved by the class teacher. To put the leave in the leave application tab, you have to click on the tab. Now let's check the timetable tab. To check the timetable, click on timetable tab. Then the timetable tab will open. Select the timetable you want to check. Click on the attachment symbol to download the timetable. Once the timetable is downloaded, you can check the timetable. To check the timetable, click on time. Let's move on to the syllabus tab. Once you click on the syllabus tab, select the syllabus you want to check. Click on the attachment symbol to download the syllabus. Once the syllabus is downloaded, you can just check the syllabus. Once now, let's check the exam report tab. To check the exam report tab, select the exam you want the report card to be generated for. Download the report card to see the exam report card in PDF format. To check the exam report tab, select the exam you want the report card to be generated for. Download the report card to see the exam report card. In now let's check the messages tab. Now click on the messages tab. Here you can create a message and send it to the admin team, class teacher, subject teacher, whomsoever you want to send the message. Once you click on the plus sign, you have to create the message. You have to tick in front of the person you wish to send a message. Type the message in the text message column and then click on send and the message will be sent. Now click on the messages tab. Here you can create a message and send it to the admin team, class teacher, subject teacher, whomsoever you want to send the message. When you click on the SMS history tab, you can check all the messages which are being provided by the school. When you click on how to check the notifications received. Once you click on the notification tab, you can see all the circulars, that is the messages or the documents which are posted by the school. Once you click on the notification tab, you can see all the circulars, that is the messages or the documents which are posted by the school. Now let's check your profile in My Profile tab. Once you click on My Profile tab, check the details, that is parents, name, mobile number, your address, blood group and the child's photograph. Now let's check your friend's birthdays in the birthdays tab. Now scroll on the birthday tab to check the birthdays. Now scroll on the birthday tab. Now let's see who is your teacher in my teachers tab. In my teachers tab, if you click on my class teacher, you will be able to see who your class teacher is. And similarly, if you click on subject teacher, you will be able to see your subject teachers. Hello readers, let's move on to the library tab. Once you click on the new books tab, you can check all the new arrivals for all the months. Once you click on the now click on the books history tab to check the books you have issued and the books you have reserved. Now, now let's check my diary tab. Once 
you click on the diary tab you will be able to check the achievements the class teacher remark the general observation subject teacher remark which is given to your child you can also comment if you wish to send the message to the concerned person once you click on the diary tab you will be able to check the achievements the class teacher remark the general observation subject teacher remark now let's celebrate the events conducted by the school in the events tab when you click on the events tab you have to select on the month you wish to see the events for after selecting the one you can view the schedule of the events for the month how to check details for the siblings log in the app with elder child's id and password click on the tab you can check the details click on the menu tab and select the siblings tab where you will be able to check the details of the younger sibling you are just one click away from downloading the app so a kind request to all parents to download the campus care app let's move on with the utility tab click on utility tab here you'll able to see the continuation form when you click on the continuation form you'll see the whole of the continuation form all the fields of it and you'll have to fill it similarly we are going to add various forms which will be shown in utility click on utility tab here you'll able to see the continuation form when you click on the continuation form you'll see the whole of the continuation form all the fields Let's move on with the circular tab. Click on the circular tab. The parent will be able to see all the circulars which are uploaded throughout the year. You will find the attachment of those circulars along with the message you can download those attachments and take a print